y'all I was out here trying to get ready to decorate um, my patio uh, not, I was out here ready to uh, make it nice out here in my garden it's okay to want to get noisy and I happened to roll out my blue uh, mat guys tell me why it was two snakes <laughs> oh my goodness I almost threw my back out <laughs> trying to find my hole <laughs> to to get him and y'all I missed the big one I missed the big one I got the smaller one though I don't know what kind of snake it is let me know what kind of snake it is it has stripes across it, it might have been a grass snake right now it's a dead snake because dog on it it don't need to be up in my garden oh look at his little nerves moving oh you dead though dude your nerves can move all they want to look at that it's moving uh, but this is the small one the the other one is about the size of this almost this pool noodle oh my well not thick but oh my gosh <laughs> did my garden dog help no he looking around like well what what are you gonna do <laughs> that other one is under here and now because i know his but he went up into one of them little crawfish holes but now that i know he's under there all of that's going to be cleared out this whole area i'm going to pull everything out and <sighs> y'all <laughs> okay i found the snake the snake is dead oh yes he's dead i ain't playing that i am definitely gonna have to secure my chicken wire better than i have <sighs> Okay, let me breathe. Good Lord, I don't play with snakes. Um, I'm not scared of them. I don't want them to be surprising me. I don't mind me surprising them. And this one was not going to live up in my garden. Nope. My grandbaby is going to be coming up in here. I will choke a snake out over my grandbaby if it bites it, <laughs> bites her. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> So anyway, I couldn't find a snake, y'all. I have to tell you the backstory. I couldn't find a snake. I found the baby one, killed it, and then uh, then the other one, the big one, he went hid under in these crawfish holes. He went snuck down up in one of them under this bench, right? I was gonna move this bench anyway, so not today will be today. Okay, so oh my gosh. No, that's his tail. <laughs> that would be his tail moving by itself. Look at that. It's like, where's my head? Oh my gosh. Oh. Nope. You will be without a head forever. Okay, I'm going to let him go and squirm. Alright, so. I couldn't find it, y'all. And I'm like, God, I will tear, <laughs> with your strength, I'm going to tear this whole garden apart because it's not going to be up in here, right? So, guys, he, he, she, whatever, was hiding in the crack here, like, in the crack there. That makes me want to tear all this out, too. I, anyway, so then I chased it with my hoe. Because uh, me in the hole, the snake ain't got no chance, right? So, I see him. He gets over here to my okra bed. Now, y'all know, I love me some okra. But I'm not going to have a snake thinking he can live there in it. So, move, little piece of tail. Anyway, I smacked him. As you can see, right here is a little disruption. And I missed him. So then I started chopping more. And he was trying to escape out this this way. 
I forgot that I had dug a hole right here because I was trying to let some water out. That's probably how he got in here, or she. So then, as you can see, uh, I chopped, chopped some okra up. Some basil got chopped up. I mean, this plant still survived, and the big one. These little ones, I'll find some more okra. I got plenty of time. Anyway, so he was trying to escape out of this area over here, uh, this little hole area. And I was like, nope, because you ain't coming back. And uh, so I chopped him to pieces. So you don't want to see him chopped up. I know he probably is a, a grass snake. He could be a friendly snake that just want to lick your hand. But he ain't about to lick it up in this uh, garden. So I see his neck still trying to move. Let me see if I can pull him up. This is the only other time. I chopped these marigolds up, y'all. I'm like, I was going to move them anyway. So now I got a reason to move them. Okay, let's go ahead and pull his hole. There you go. Uh, he had a longer body, but uh, I don't care if he a grass snake. I don't care if he the friendly... Look, look at him, still, with his little mouth. Dude, you ain't got no body. You all chopped up. So, he can go over there with his baby. But he's a pretty long snake, huh? First of all, let me go on here. Make sure that the nerves is out of him. All right. He can't do nothing with just a head. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Like I said, I was gonna take these marigolds out. So gonna chop them and move them on out. Here's some more of his body. Cause I don't want the ants up in here uh thinking, oh okay. Oh, got my long dress on. Here's another part of his long body. I'm telling you, he was long, y'all. There's the other part. And then this little squiggly tail. Come on. Come on. Get on over there with the rest of your, your partner. There you go. <laughs> oh, gosh. Did I plan on being a snake wrangler this morning? No. I just came out here. I actually, I, w I just put up my umbrella and I said, huh, I want to pull out this little mat, make it really comfortable. Um, Urban is on. I was finna sit there on her live, watch her live and chat with people in there. And I pulled this out and his big old butt rolled up out of there. I said, oh no. And that's where I put my feet on. And you see it got grass on here. I'm finna cut all this weedy, this grass. Finna move this, um. Finna move this, uh, my bench. Cause it's some holes right there. So I don't want any other snake thinking it can come up in here. I'm finna cover that all up. I might make that into a garden bed or something. Anyway, so the little one is dead. Let me bring him on over here to... I'm hoping it was only these two. You know, mm, I don't know if that was a female and a male together or is that female and her baby. Let me get this way for you can see. But yeah, oh, this was not my intention for today. But you know, life... You deal with life. Whatever is dealt to you, that's what you deal with. So, there's some snakes this morning. I'm going to go and throw them. Look at his head still trying to move. Uh-uh, dude. Um, yeah. It just gave me a, a motivation to go ahead and get my garden set up. Nothing like a snake hunt in the morning to get you motivated to get your ground done for the fall. And 
I was sitting here chopping up this soil and everything and there's another snake in here he then came home and he like okay what's she doing with the garden <laughs> so he is somewhere man he is somewhere in here he's not as big as the mama one but uh he bought the size of that other one so it's probably gonna be more that show back up at home but their home is now my garden bed so yeah i will keep y'all updated i don't want my grandbaby to grab it pick it up anything like that when she's out here she's finna be two they pick up everything put it in the mouth <laughs> i don't want to put the snakes in the mouth so um i need to find him or he need to quickly disappear out of my garden <laughs>